In this video, I'll demonstrate the one sample test of means. This form of t-test allows us to compare the mean of some interval variable in a sample against some established or chosen benchmark. By way of example, let's consider the 40-hour workweek. Some scholars have hypothesized that the average workweek for full-time employees in the U.S. is significantly greater than that benchmark. Looking at data from the 2002 General Social Survey, we can examine how many hours self-reported full-time employees work on average. Keeping in mind that these data are from a sample, we have to ask whether the observed mean for hours per week worked is significantly different from the benchmark of 40. So in this particular case, we'll be using two variables. Hours 1, which is the number of hours worked in the last week as reported by respondents, we'll also need to make use of a variable called work stat, which is the labor force status of respondents, because we want to restrict our analysis to those who are working full time. To conduct the test, we would go to statistics, summary tables and tests, classical tests of hypotheses, one sample mean comparison test. In the variable name, we put in our interval variable, hours 1, and the hypothesized mean we put in our benchmark value, 40 in this case. Now because we want to restrict our analysis to only those respondents who are working full time, we would click on our by if in tab, and in the restricted observations section under the if expression, we would type in work stat equals equals 1. You can see from the variable that that would restrict our analysis to only those who are working full time. Let's go ahead and hit OK. First, we can see the command that these menu selections created. Next, we see our results. First, under observations, we see the number of full-time employees who have data on hours one in our sample. We see the mean number of hours worked among those individuals, including their standard error and standard deviation. Here we have the T statistic and the degrees of freedom. But what is the probability of us getting a mean value of this magnitude by chance, or a result of a fluke sample? For that, we have to consult the p-values. For a two-tail test of significance, we consult the middle results, where the mean does not equal 40. Here we see a p-value of 0 0.000. Now, if we had hypothesized that the mean would be higher than 40, we would consult the right-side results, where the alternative hypothesis is that the mean is greater than 40. Again, we see a p-value of 0 0.000. So in either case, we can be confident that full-time employees in the U.S are working more than 40 hours a week on average. While the actual mean in the population may not be 45.97 hours per week, as it is in our sample, we can be 95% confident that the population mean is somewhere between 45.35 and 46.59, as indicated by our 95% confidence interval. Now one could report the results in this fashion. T, with the degrees of freedom of 1418, equals 18.918, and a p-value less than 0 